All right, heading back right now to the laundry house with the laundry basket here. I'm going to be doing some laundry this morning before we can go to the office. And I just wanted to talk about the need for personal study. Little video request here that was made. Um, you need to study the Bible on your own. Uh, I get the fact that there are men of God that can preach and teach the Word of God, and that's, you know, they're paid to do that. They feed the flock, and, and of the flock that they can, you, know, you expect to receive some fruit or whatever of the flock. That's fine. That's Scripture. Not a problem. Um, but, you know, I, I see this thing, and I've seen this over the years, where I take any kind of time off, or I start to do videos that people don't like, and they say, when are you going to get back to preaching? When are you going to get back to teaching the Word of God? You know, when are you going to... Uh, to do videos or something, big detailed sermons, well, those take time, okay? Uh, <clears throat> these little walk and talk videos that I do, um, there's a purpose for these. And I can point people to older doctrinal studies with these videos. And I mean, if I've preached a, a sermon on, name the subject, you know, uh, w why uh, Christians become saints in heaven. There's, It's not the Catholic system of... You have to be officially canonized to become a saint. No, you're a saint when you get saved, when God saves you. Uh, you know, I have studies on that. I have studies on uh, spiritual warfare. I have studies on, you know, the Bible version issue. I have studies on a lot of different things. Do I have to continually redo those and remake those? You know, just weird. Uh, no, I've, I've been working at this for a very long time. I have a huge number of doctrinal studies that you can see. And I realize there's always something to preach about, but, you know, I mean, what are you going to do? Your own research, your own study and things. Um, you know, it's not supposed to be that a preacher, it's my job to lead you by the hand and do everything for you. That's not the truth. It doesn't work that way. Okay. Um, you know, there are times when you just need to do your own study. So, certainly I take the challenge to... Uh, you know, get out there and make videos and things. I'll get later in here. Um, absolutely. I like to preach the Word of God. Uh, but a little dark in here right now. It's still pretty early. About 6 o'clock in the morning. Um, but, you know, I have a life to live. I have things I need to do. And, um, so this, this thing of, uh, well, I guess all he's going to do now is this. No, I'm always going to do doctrinal studies. I'm always going to be doing some kind of a study or whatever else that, uh, you know, requires a lot of time and a lot of work. But there are other times when I have things to do and uh, you might have to feed yourself occasionally, you know. <laughs> and uh, hopefully I have enough brains that you can figure out certain things that I can't. The Lord can reveal those things to you. I'm not your Pope. All right, that's another issue. You know, well, if Brian, Brother Brian says it, then I have to believe it or something. No, you don't. You have to check the Scriptures. Search the Scriptures. Make sure that I'm in line with the Scriptures. And if I'm not in line with the Scriptures, then you say, well, you know, he's wrong on that issue, and I'll follow him in these other areas or whatever. Um, so, just a, again, a loving rebuke i don't hate people i'm not angry or whatever else in terms of you know going to start banning a whole bunch of people from my channel or whatever else but uh i've seen this thing again it's it's not some kind of a well one comment that i saw and and now i'm mad about it and i'm throwing a fit or something no this has been ever since i've been on youtube ever since i've been there this thing of uh when are you going to get back to this study? Or when are you going to do that study? Or whatever else. Well, you do the study. Um, I'll do what I can. Uh, again, you know, this one of the big points of this ministry is to be able to preach the gospel to the lost world. And I've had a lot of people get saved uh, because of the videos. I point them to Jesus Christ and they go to Him and the Lord saves them. And I'm thankful for that. Um, they get straightened out doctrinally and and whatever else but you have to get to the point where you do your own research your own study 
Uh, natural health is one of the most important things that you need to do in your life because if you're eating junk food, it's going to mess up your ability to think. I mean, in the past, you know, we'll say you go back 200 years ago or something, was there some kind of junk food? Well, yeah, there would have been high sugar type of foods and, and whatever, but we didn't have the processing. There were no <clears throat> grocery stores that you could go to with a bunch of stuff that has a shelf life of you know 50 years or something because it's so toxic <laughs> you know um so back then in the past you know you go back to the first century even in the new testament well what well, was junk food you know probably there was something but not like what we have today it's it's not even junk food it's toxic food it's chemicals um and i've tried to preach against that stuff you need to stay away from it if you want to think clearly as a christian you know, the whole pharmaceutical thing and whatever else. I mean, it's based on petroleum, petrochemicals, uh, all sorts of nasty toxins and, and everything in there. And as I've said many times, it's not possible to get good health from toxic chemicals. It just doesn't happen. But, you know, well, brother, could you please give me a free consultation on that? No, I can't. I can't. You have to do your own research. You have to do your own study. I've had to do my own study. I've had to do my own research. Try it. Put it in my mouth. Okay, this, this type of natural health works really good. This one here, eh, not so much so. You know, do your own research. Do your own study. Um, you know, I refer a lot of times to articles or to videos or something that's going on, but I don't show it all the time. Because then you get into the YouTube thing, the, the issue of... of uh, you know, that's copyrighted. We have to strike your channel down or whatever else. Um, you know, this, all this uh, stuff that goes on with the, you know, vaccines and everything else. Well, you have to do your own study. Come to your own decisions. I can't tell you what to do. I never have. I tell you what my opinion is. But uh, it comes right down to it. You have to make that decision for yourself. So, uh Something to think about. Um, I will continue to bring out the best studies that I can, uh, but it takes some time. Okay, don't expect it to be just uh, every week I can come out with some kind of a major doctrinal thing or something. Um, sometimes that works. Sometimes I can come out with more than one a week. But other times it takes a little while. And if I have other things like working on the website or doing other work, um, you know, it just slows me down. I can't, I can't do a whole lot of sermons. But uh, one other thing I want to say very quickly, the hymn book that I will be reviewing, I finally got my, the one that you can get leather bound, I finally got it yesterday, so I'm planning to get around to doing that, look for a review, a review of that coming up in the future, and um, so you can look forward to that, I'll just give you that as a little hint, I did write, um, the basic outline for a new sermon last night and uh it came into my mind well, that's why i say the lord gave it to me and and i put it in my mind i thought yeah okay i haven't preached on that so i need to preach on that issue and and um and, and again I'll, I'll see people and they say hey could you please do a, a video on this particular portion of scripture or something and i'll say well you know i already did it's just not under that exact title that section or something you know i saw somebody recently said could you do a study on matthew chapter three and i thought well i already have covered that in other studies um it doesn't say expository study on matthew chapter three but i covered the whole thing of jesus being baptized and they hear you know the father speaking from heaven and the holy spirit descends like a dove not as a dove um it's descending you know the holy spirit's coming down like the way that a dove would come down is what that passage means the holy spirit is not a dove he's not a bird okay <laughs> and i've done a study on that so i have covered it but i don't have a sermon with the title matthew chapter three okay and i know it's used by the trinitarians to prove that there are three separate persons well two separate persons and a bird um so but uh so you know if you watch the studies you'll see a lot of your questions are answered uh in the study but, you know, again, it takes study. It takes time. 
and I'm not going to be a uh, preaching with these YouTube short videos or whatever else. I haven't made any of those yet. I probably never will because I think you have to have a cell phone or something, but which whatever <laughs> on that. But uh, you know, this ministry is about getting the word out. Very strong doctrinal studies, and I will do that as I can. These videos, it's quick. I mean, I'm walking back here to do laundry, and I can just do a quick little 10, 12 minute video or something. Um, but uh, what I do should never replace your personal study. Second Timothy chapter two verse fifteen: Study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. Okay, it doesn't say uh, have somebody else do your studies for you to, to so that you can be approved. No, thyself study the word of God. Thank you for watching.